Yeah, I could eat them. Like, I could eat bread forever. Hey guys, it's Cat and Deb from Two Market Girls. And today we have our first kombucha recipe. Mm hmm. And it's a good one. A really, really good one. So good. And probably an unexpected one. I don't think people would think we'd make these with a kombucha. Uh, I didn't think we would. I was like, you're doing what? <laughs> so we made pretzels, soft baked pretzels. Um, I kind of just took the inspiration from beer pretzels and figured if you can do it with beer, you can probably do it with kombucha. Mm -hmm. So I did it. And why is like, is there a benefit to doing it with kombucha versus beer? Like why? I don't know. I've never made them with beer. I mean, kombucha is healthier than beer. Oh. So that's a good benefit. So you can eat these and pretend you're healthy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but also, I've made these with water instead of kombucha, and I find they're denser with water. Oh. The kombucha just, I feel like they're fluffier and there's more air in them and things. So I like them better with the kombucha than with water. That sounds nice. So we'd like to give a huge shout out to Tonica mm -hmm. for supplying us with some of their kombucha. This is their green tea kombucha. Yeah, we've tried... You probably saw a few weeks ago we tried all of them in a whatever Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Green tea is a great one to try. I used it in the pretzels because it's really subtle. I didn't necessarily want any of the flavor from the kombucha coming through. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, But if you want one of the flavors, you know, like blueberry pretzels could be cool. <laughs> mm. So good. No, no. Thank you, Tonica. Yeah, thank you. It's been so much fun cooking with kombucha. Mm -hmm. I didn't think... To me, honestly, kombucha wasn't one of those things that I thought I could cook yeah. with. You didn't. You don't associate kombucha with cooking. No, but now you do. Yeah, you're <laughs> welcome. <laughs> All right, let's show you how to make these. In a small pan over low heat, add a quarter cup of Tonica green tea kombucha and heat until it's at 50 degrees Celsius. While that's heating up, add one tablespoon of active dry yeast and one tablespoon of cane sugar to a glass bowl or container. Then add in the heated kombucha and whisk until the sugar and yeast is dissolved. Let that mixture sit for 15 minutes. You want it to get really foamy. If it doesn't foam, that could mean your kombucha was too hot and killed the yeast or your yeast is expired. To a stand mixer, using the bread hook attachment, add 2 cups of flour, 3 tablespoons of avocado oil, 1 teaspoon of salt, half a cup of green tea kombucha, and your yeast mixture. Mix on low to medium speed until a dough is just formed. You want to make sure not to over mix it. Remove the dough from the bowl and knead four to five times just to form a ball. Do not knead it too much. Lightly oil a bowl to avoid sticking and add the dough to the bowl and cover with a towel. Let that dough rise in a dark place for 45 minutes to an hour. Once it has risen, gently pull your dough from the bowl and put on a parchment or silpat lined surface. Divide into seven to eight evenly sized pieces and roll each piece into a skinny rope-like shape. They should be about 12 inches long. Then take each rolled dough and tie into a knot or your desired shape and set on a lined baking sheet. Cover the baking sheet with a towel and let that rise for another 30 to 45 minutes in a dark place. When they have finished their second rise, boil a pot of water with four tablespoons of baking soda. Gently place the knots one at a time into the boiling water and remove after 30 to 45 seconds. Make sure to flip each knot in the water halfway through. Then place the knots back on the baking sheet and with a sharp knife cut slits into the curves to get that classic pretzel look after baking. Generously salt and bake in an oven preheated to 450 for 12 to 15 minutes. It's really important not to overbake them. Once they are golden brown, they're done. While they're baking, you can make a simple dipping sauce with four tablespoons of Dijon mustard, one tablespoon of sriracha, and one tablespoon of agave nectar. Uh, yeah, 
yeah, they're really good. My whole family likes them. By my whole family, I mean my dad. He's already put in an order for them. <laughs> we had to lock the doors because he's trying to get in and eat them right like, now. Ex- right now. He's waiting outside the door. <laughs> <laughs> you just tried it without me. I can't believe you. They're so good. I'm going to try it without the dip. Yeah. Mmm. I just love salt. Wow. <laughs> it really is, like, so soft. Right? Mm-hmm. And, like, the way we did it, we did it in, like, knots. You could easily probably cut this in half and use it as, like, a sandwich bun or, like, a burger bun. Oh, my gosh. That'd be insane. If you did it this way. Okay, I want to try this. So, we made a mustard dip. Spicy mustard dip. Obviously spicy. <laughs> I mean, hello, are you new here? If you are, thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to our videos, because we're funnier than this, I swear. Mmm. Mm-hmm. That's so good. Yeah, mustard and pretzels are like the best thing ever. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm. This, this is, is a winner. It would really even be good with our queso dip. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So good. Well, that's a wrap on another vegan recipe from your favorite vegan bloggers. <laughs> <laughs> we know that's not true. <laughs> Are we even on the list? Oh my gosh. Again, thank you so much to Tonica for supplying the kombucha we used to make these amazing vegan pretzels. Amazing! amazing. <laughs> <laughs> you look forward to more ta- Tonica kombucha recipes. Yes. Uh, I don't know how many we'll do, but we'll do at least a couple more throughout yeah. this summer. So, look forward to that. There's a lot of potential in this group, we have to say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We post new vegan recipes every Sunday, and we do whatever Wednesdays every other Wednesday. Bye. Bye. In my belly. Hey, it's Kat and Dev. We're we back are again. Two market girls. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> well. <laughs> That's good that you took your top off though, because then we'd be wearing the exact same thing for those videos. Spoiler alert, we made pretzels that look like